What's up, family? It's your boy, that boy can cook. In the place, in your face. And as you can see, we got something simple, but yet also delicious. We are making some homemade biscuits, sausage, and gravy. And it's that good old breakfast that's gonna stick to your belly in the morning time. Don't need it to go to work, because you ain't gonna be no good. So let's get right to it. Homemade biscuits, sausage, and gravy. Our homemade, baby. Let's get it. Yeah. So this is what we need for our delicious biscuits and sausage and gravy. Yeah. So we have two and a half cups of our purpose flour. We have one cup, one cup and one fourth tablespoon of buttermilk. We have one teaspoon of salt. We have one and a half teaspoons of sugar, and we have two tablespoons of baking powder. Not baking soda, baking powder. And of course, we got some sausage. And for the gravy, we have all purpose flour, one fourth cup, fresh black pepper, two cups of milk, salt to taste. Let's sit this out. But it's delicious. Once again, delicious biscuits and sausage gravy. And real quick, family, I forgot one ingredient. Bam, there it is right there. You have one whole stick of butter that's gonna be cut up thin pieces. I'm just keeping it chilled so it was in the refrigerator. That's why I forgot it on the first time. So we're gonna put it back in the refrigerator because we need this butter and this buttermilk to be cold. So let's put that back in the fridge to be ready for it. All right, so this is how we're gonna start it off. We're gonna take all our iron dry, our dry ingredients, let's add it to the flour. So we're gonna put that baking powder in there, we'll put that sugar in there, and we're gonna put that salt in there. And we're just going to mix it, just to get it combined. I mean, this is so easy, so yet delicious and satisfying. Yeah, we'll get this butter in here. That's what we want next, our butter. Just start dropping the butter in here. You don't want to throw it in all at the same time. Just make sure it's mixed well through. into little chunks like this here, as you can see. Just like that. So let's just get our butter in here. There we go. And family, think about hitting the like button, the subscribe button, the notification button. I'm a part of this family over here because we cook good food over here. We have great recipes over here. So think about subscribing. Hit the like button if you like this video. But you gotta watch to the end. You gotta watch to the end to see how it turns out. So don't go away. Stick with me, stay with me. And we're gonna have some delicious recipes, meals, drinks. All the things that go with cooking, baby. Because that's what we do at that boy can cook. The title is in the name. That boy can cook. So let's just continue to get this butter in here. Get it all mixed up. I'm not going to bore you too much with this. All right, as you can see, we already have our butter mixed in and ready to go. So let's just create us a little well in the center here. Just like that. We're gonna add this button up here. There we go. Put half and I'm gonna mix a little bit. Add the other half. 
gonna mix it until we come up with a solid clump of dough, AKA biscuits, baby. So let's just kind of gently, since I'm not using a big enough bowl, let's just kind of gently get it all mixed in. There we go. I get to a certain point, I like to go ahead and use my hands. For me, it's just easier that way. And I can get everything incorporated quicker and easier. But you're more than welcome to do it how you do it. Choose how you do it. So let's just make sure we get everything mixed together. surface here and let's roll us out some biscuits. Let's go ahead and get us some flour down. Just so our dough won't stick. I don't 
don't have a cookie cutter slash biscuit cutter. So what I use is my good old coffee cup. It's about the same size, about three and a half three inches, about three inches, three and a half. So that's gonna give me the size of the biscuit I need. So just like that. make us some biscuits. And you don't want to twist as you push down. You just want to go straight down. If you twist it, it will seal your biscuits and it will be hard for them to rise. And if your cup gets sticky like that, from the dirt, with your little flour, your cup or your cookie cutter slash biscuit cutter. Try to get as close as we can to the next biscuit. And remember, once I said, like I said, we go straight down. Don't twist it. It's gonna help your biscuits rise. There we go. Get us another one out of here. See, you got three good ones out of here. Man, look at that. Ooh, there it is right there. Okay, so let's peel our biscuits out. And we're going to reball our dough and just repeat the process. Do the same thing. All right, we have our biscuits cut, finished ready to go so you know what we're about to do now get this out the way good old trusty cookie pan so we're just gonna lay them about an inch apart from each other you kind of want them close that's gonna help them rise just get them as close as you can get you a little closer touching, but you want them in a very close proximity. Bam. Like that, right there. Now let's get these boys in a preheated oven at 425 for 15 minutes until golden brown. We're going to check on those. Yeah. Alright, we have our biscuits in the oven. We have our timer set. So let's go ahead and start on our sausage. So let's go ahead and get them on the pan on medium heat. And we're just gonna brown this sausage until it's done. Let's go ahead and start to break up our brown meat. Not brown meat, again, our sausage. Cook down like I say, five, six minutes. Have right, us a good old country. Delicious. Stick to your belly. Breakfast. And that is biscuits. Homemade biscuits. That's correct. Homemade biscuits. And sausage. And homemade gravy. Man, you get no better than that. Just continue to get this meat brown. Alright, as we can see, our sausage is brown and ready to go. So let's start this gravy. Go ahead, throw our flour on top of our sausage. Get it all in there. Make sure you don't drain your pan. 
still want your juices from your sausage in your pan. There we go, we got all that in now. So let's just mix it until it's all dissolved. As you can see, it is all dissolved. milk in here and we're going to slowly add our milk so if I can get it in the pan so we're just going to slowly add and stir so it starts to thicken up to the consistency we like and we're going to go back and we're going to season the taste with salt and pepper so let's just continue that Get this sausage and gravy made up. Because our biscuits, we got five more minutes for our biscuits. So let's get this in there. Let's get this done. By the time the biscuits come out the oven, and by the time they cool, we're going to be ready. We are going to be ready. So let me get this all in. Season the taste. Throw us a little fresh black pepper in there. Let's get some salt. Throw us a little salt in there. And we're gonna taste for lightness and see if that's what we want, if that's what we're looking for. If so, we all done. All we gotta do is let the gravy thicken up. If not, you know what to do. Just let this gravy to continue to thicken and get all delicious like. Yeah. Let's taste the lightness now. See what we got, y'all. A little more salt. Just a little more salt. Good bowl. Let's go ahead and reduce the heat. And we're just gonna let it simmer. Come back, stir it, stirring it, and making sure the gravy is not sticking. As, as you can see, it's thickening it up. It's getting thick. Yeah. Oh, we got a minute left on the biscuits, y'all. A minute left, family. See them come out the oven. I'm gonna show you what they look like fresh out the oven. Let's see. It's a sneak peek. Just a sneak peek. Ooh, look at that. There it is. And we got that. That's gonna go with it. Ooh, watch out now. Look at them biscuits. Look at them delicious biscuits, baby. Now you know what we gotta do. We gotta put more butter on it. Let's get more butter on it. Make them shine and glisten. Just like that. Look at that gravy all coming together. You hear it. You hear it. Don't act like you don't. Because I know you do. If I hear it, you hear it. Biscuits, baby. Look at 
they biscuits. Love biscuits. And you see how simple it is. You see it wasn't nothing but six ingredients. You know what I'm talking about? I mean simple, man. You know? So save your money. Stop buying these biscuits. And make your own. Unless you just feel like buying them. Sometimes you don't feel like cooking. I know I don't, so it's a lot of times I just buy the stuff and start cooking it. So it's all to the good, you know. However you wanna do it is your world. You make it happen how you want it to happen. Just gonna keep brushing butter on these boys, so I ain't got no butter left. Good and butter. Man, let's set this off, family. All we gotta do is put that, get that, and ooh, we got us in the right family. That is it, that is all. Now we gotta do is plate it, make it pretty, and we ready to go, baby. We ready to go. So let's go ahead and cut our biscuits in half. Next time.